what's going on guys yep it's that time again needle making time god I hate this job <laughs> and I'm gonna give you guys a Mr. Clean with Febreze fresh scent lavender vanilla and comfort this stuff has so much ammonia in it, it smells like cat piss. I didn't have any Windex, so I used it to clean off my glass. All I can smell is the fucking ammonia. It smells like cat piss. God. Ugh. God, I can't stand that smell. It's supposed to be fresh scent was Febreze. Well, I think they forgot to put the Febreze in that bottle. Ugh. I just had the Board of Health in here the other day. Um, we get inspected a few times a year. Um, well, if there's a complaint, they'll come out uh, more often. The more complaints you got, the more times they'll show up. Um, so they tried to get better a few years back. I went like three years without an inspection. The guys that was in charge just wasn't doing his fucking job. His excuse was, well, you didn't have any complaints, so we didn't come out. You know what? I shouldn't have bitch because, you know, the less they're out of my ass, then I guess the better. But if they're not inspecting me, that means they're not inspecting other guys. Like I said they were. You know, they were inspecting the ones that have complaints and stuff like that. But I know a few shops around town, and a couple of them need to be inspected a lot more. And hell, one went a few years without hot water. So, can't be real sterile if you don't have hot water. But anyway, she uh, is a new inspector. Never seen her before. And uh, you know, she started asking me about my needles. Want to know who made them. And if you get your needles pre made, they want to know about the company that makes them. And stuff like that. Um, it's a whole nother process. When I told her I made my own, I thought the woman was going to drop her clipboard. Um, it has become a lost art, I guess. So, um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. I've had a couple people get a hold of me wanting me to do um, more videos actually showing how that I make them because um, I guess there are some aspiring tattoo artists out there that want to know um, so to my regular viewers you might want to skip this video um, it might not be your cup of tea might be kind of boring to you, but um, since I've had some and the Board of Health lady freaked out, I see that it's even a more lost art than what I originally thought. Um, you know, originally I didn't want to tell how I did it. It's because I'm a firm believer you should go through an apprenticeship. You shouldn't just buy a starter kit out of the back of a magazine and fuck your buddies up trying to learn. And that's how a lot of guys do learn. But you should really go through a studio and go through an apprenticeship. Um, yeah, you're going to be a grunt for six months and before you ever get to touch anything, but uh, it's called paying your dues. Well, some studios will require payment for an apprenticeship. You know, I've heard three to five grand. Um, some will make you sign a non-compete form. 
saying if they train you, you won't quit for so many years and go work for somebody in in town. Is this thing? I just got a new. Fucking things. Smoking out of the top. That's kind of scary. There's smoke coming out the fucking top. Hopefully, it's just burning off the chemicals. What they manufactured it with, I hope. You see a big flame and you never see me again, you know what happened. I burnt the place down. <laughs> Uh, now, there's a reason that this is becoming a lost art. Because companies make needles for you and you don't have to know the knowledge on how to do it. And I've had guys sit here and argue with me and tell me that it's cheaper to buy them yourself pre-made and that's just fucking ridiculous anything that they sell pre-made and as a kit is cheaper to buy as a kit. You gotta pay somebody to do it. You know, and they'll try telling me that it's cheaper to buy them pre-made. You know, and then when you show them that it's cheaper to do it this way, then they come up with the excuse that, uh, well, your time's worth something. Alright, I've been doing this a lot of years. There is some point in your week where you got an hour or two that you're just sitting around fucking watching TV, playing a video game, doing something. We don't work 24-7. Now, if you're so goddamn busy that you're working 24-7, okay, get them pre-made. But... I don't know any studio that is that busy. There's too many of us out there. Twenty years ago, okay, you could have told me that excuse and I might have believed you. But I've got 40 studios just in my town. Now, you cannot tell me that out of those 40 studios, 38 of them are busy 24-7. I'm not going to buy it. You sell that load of shit to somebody else. At some point, you've got some time. It don't take that long to do it. It is boring. But, the money that I save, you know, by doing it myself, and the control that I get, I can make needles that they don't make. You know, I've got setups that I use that you can't buy anywhere. That's what's nice about making your own. You can make them just the way you want. You want them super tight, you can make them super tight. You want them nice and loose, you can make them nice and loose. Depends on your style of tattooing, you can make your needles. And the savings that you get from doing this, you can do twice as many tattoos. Well, maybe not twice as many, but... There's a lot of savings doing it by yourself. Now, when you first set up, it is going to cost you a little bit of money. you got to buy your jigs and stuff like that. But once you buy them, you're done. I mean, you don't have to buy these fucking things again. I mean, eventually they do wear out, but by the time it's worn out, you've, gotten, you've made your money off of it. So, quit coming up with all the bullshit excuses as to why you don't make your own needles. Just admit you don't know how and move on and learn. It's not that fucking hard. Now, they are itty bitty. And you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. Because if you bump the end of these, you can bend it. And then you're no longer 
puncturing the skin, you're ripping the skin open, which is not good. The consistency is like thick molasses, as you can see.